Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. We're gonna go over a cool drill to help you guys learn to rotate through the ball properly without extending that trail arm, without losing posture. A drill I like to do with a lot of my clients to give them a sensation for the first time of how to properly rotate through the ball when for a lifetime of golf, they've been standing up, early extending, and throwing their arm at it, okay? So this drill, let's just call it the rewind drill just to make it easier to remember and reference back to in future videos, okay? In this rewind drill, what we're going to do is this. We're going to set up as we normally do, assuming you have a pretty decent backswing, okay? So you're gonna make the nice backswing, and from here, you're gonna, you're gonna turn and stop at impact without hitting, okay? You can see when I'm at impact, I have my position roughly what I would like my setup uh, impact to be like. My butt's back, I'm rotated, my pelvis is past the ball, my chest is past the ball, you can see my uh, left butt cheek, my left leg, my left calf, my left back, okay? My trail arm is slightly bent. From here, we're gonna maintain this structure. My relationship is set. My arm, hands, and club is set with my torso. All I'm gonna do is rewind to roughly half swing and then push and chip through, okay? You can see when I do that, I'm able to maintain the structure I want at impact where my trail arm is slightly bent, my angles have been let go, I'm in posture, I'm in, I've maintained my incline, I'm not stood up and nearly extending, I've maintained my incline, and I rewind and maintain this structure, and then push and chip through. Doing this drill allows people for the first time to feel how they should turn through the ball. A sensation they may feel is, oh, they feel very low to the ground because they've been very tall and stood up and lost posture for such a long time. Now that they actually maintain posture, they feel like they're excessively low, which is okay. It's a very common uh, sensation to feel for the first time, okay? So things to look out for to make this process as smooth as possible for you guys when you're trying to implement this yourselves for the first time, okay? Assuming you have a good, decent backswing, okay? You make your backswing, your inside trail heel is low to 80%. From here, as you torque your trail foot and push your butt back, you can see my legs regain flex. I'm gonna keep my hands up and back. I'm not gonna pull because we don't want to pull down. I keep my arms up and back as I down hinge to get my width back and I turn, 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 turn. You can see I'm very rotated. Uh, I've re released my angle, it's very rotated. My trail arm is still bent, okay? We down hinge to get the width back. We do not pull down and extend that trail arm to get the width. We don't want that. That cuts out the rotation. So stop at the top, trail, trail heel loaded. Then you torque your trail foot as you push your butt back and rotate. Keep your arms up and back and down hinge. Slowly, you can see how slow I'm doing this. Stop at impact, no excessive uh, shaft lean. We're gonna have a straight line from your left shoulder to your hands to the club head. From here, you maintain this relationship, rewind, and then push and chip through. That's what we wanna try to do, okay? Quickly from this face on view, you're gonna see, I'm going to go to the top, I'm going to torque my trail foot as I push my butt back and turn. Keep my arms up and back as I down hinge and turn, turn, turn. You can see when I come into the impact, I do not have excessive shaft lean. A common thing most people will do if they don't rotate well is have their hands shoved in front because they're used to leading with the arms, the trail arm straight. Uh, we don't want excessive shaft lean. We want just a little bit so you can see we have a straight line from the, from the lead shoulder to, down the arm, down the hand, down the club. That's what we want. Then we rewind, you can see I maintain the straight line as best as I can, and then I come through and push and chip through. That's how we want to do this drill, okay? So I'll show you guys one more time. This is a great drill for you guys to feel how impact should be. If you guys don't know what impact should be, what impact, uh, what a proper impact should be, and how we can turn through the ball to get to that proper impact and a rotated spot, maintaining inclination, trail arm bent, uh, not losing posture, okay? So again, again Decent backswing, load the trail heel 80%. You torque the trail foot, push the butt back as you keep the arms and hands back. You down hinge, stop at impact very slowly for three seconds, no excessive shaft lean. Then you maintain the structure, rewind, and then push and shift through, okay? 
that's how we want to do it, okay? So don't worry about contact for the first few times you do this. I really don't care how that goes for the, for the time being. You just have to learn how to turn through the ball and eventually the contact will clean up. So hope that makes sense. A great drill for you guys to work on if you guys don't know how to rotate through the ball properly. If you guys don't know what impact should feel like, this, this rewind drill is, is a really good way to feel it out. So hope that makes sense. Any questions, leave it in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching everybody.